Welcome to the third in the series of videos on history of current electricity. Um, in this video we're going to talk about evolution of this fluid theory. So in the next, uh, between 1698 to 1739, there was this physicist called Dufay. And Dufay was responsible for finding out that there were two kinds of fluid. And one is one he called it as a glass fluid and second he called it as an amber fluid. And it's interesting to see how he came to this conclusion. Now one thing Dufay realized was um, you know you could you could build this electrostatic you know effect by rubbing glass and silk um, or by rubbing amber with wool. And so he started experimenting in a setup where he had a two corks with metal foils outside uh, hung uh, close by. So first he rubbed the glass rod with silk and he produced this so-called glass fluid which he thought and he filled this block with the glass fluid or he would have touched that cork with the with a metal foil uh, cover and as he as he touched uh, he realized he, he you know he saw that uh, these two blocks were repelling oh sorry these two these two blocks would have would have got attracted right because because we know today that what what would have happened is let's assume that this is plus it would have attracted the minus and that would have led to um, the attraction that we know today but he observed that uh, the the glass the so-called glass fluid and no fluid led to attraction and then what he did was he filled he touched this with a glass rod and the the other cork he touched it with uh, the amber and what he realized is then he produced a repulsion sorry again attraction I'm sorry about that um, again attraction so there you go again attraction so he realized this were both getting attracted okay so unlike these two different fluids attract each other and then he went about trying to fill both with the amber fluid and or glass fluid and then he realized that hey this was repelling um, he he tried the same thing with uh, with amber as well just the same way you know if you touch it with amber both of them and that would also lead to repulsion so his conclusion was quite simple he said hey you know glass and glass they they repel they repel uh, and and amber and amber they repel glass fluid and glass and um, um, none they attract um, or you know amber and none they attract right and 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 unlike which is glass and amber also attracts so he come he came to a conclusion that there were um, two kinds of fluid and one was uh, one one fluid which was glass electric fluid and the other was resin rod or resin electric fluid and same fluids repel and different fluids attracted in the next few years uh, or during the similar timelines um, there was this great uh, ex, you know professor in University of Leiden his name was Peter van Muschenbroek I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right uh, he is known to have produced an instrument to store these fluids which in the modern day we know is capacitors um, now capacitors are, are instruments we know today that can that can hold charges so if you can have a capacitor uh, in a you know it can connect to a battery or something we know that these are two plates and you know it can hold enormous amount of charges so that's what we know today but during those days um, just by experimentation um, uh, what what was discovered was hey if you have a metal and and inside this metal if you have an insulator like a uh, plastic or something and inside this if you have another metal 
uh, which is again another sheet of metal if you have another sheet of metal yeah this is another sheet of metal uh, in the middle is your is your insulator so this doesn't conduct and if you have if you have a, a kind of a, a, a chain or something and so you could you could technically charge this um, by by bringing a, a, a glass rod rubbed with a silk so you can produce this electric fluid and then you can touch you can touch this and what you would be doing is um, you would be you would be or, or I would say this is rubbed glass rod you would be transferring all this electric fluid and today we know that this leads to a buildup of charges in the inside so you can you can actually start building up a lot of these charges and once you build up this charge if you if you connect if you if you actually touch both the inside and outside you will see a spark so you will see a spark so this so Leiden realized that hey he was collecting all this fluid and if the fluid if if the inside and the outside uh, inside where a lot of fluid is um, stored touches with the outside metal then the spark would fly so thus Leiden discovered this whole idea of um, storing of uh, fluids this is a great image of uh, of how you can you can bring to contact the outside and inside and during Leiden's time it is said that when he collected all these charges and and when he short-circuited the outside and the inside plates uh, with his hand uh, it gave him such a shock that uh, he was bedridden for two days and then he realized it's a pretty dangerous equipment and then they started handling it with a little bit more care in the next video we're going to look into how this evolved into a single one fluid theory and how you know the positive and negative idea of positive fluid and negative fluid was introduced by Benjamin Franklin so until then, see you. Bye.